If you break it down in the simplest terms, what you're trying to do with your data is you're trying to understand that customer's motivation. I'll tell you briefly what motivation is, and then we'll, we'll get into how to find it. So when we talked about that, that heuristic, there was four M. Four is the highest coefficient, the highest number we have in that heuristic because motivation is the most important element wow. to increasing the probability of conversion. Motivation is not something that we can change or affect. It's inherent in the customer. So we need to understand it and tap into it, right? So just for example, a high level example, you look at Pierre's head, you look at my head. <laughs> I've got much higher motivation. If there's a baldness cure out there, right? <laughs> I've got much higher motivation to find it appears. That's inside of me. That's not something some company created. Now, how do we find that? So there's so many different ways. For example, we can look at the analytics of our website. We can look at, you know, social media data. We can look at forums that our customers are on. We can, we can, like, this is something that, 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 that so many marketers don't do these days in this era. Pick up a phone, talk to a customer, mm -hmm. talk to many customers. Once you start talking to 10 customers, you start seeing patterns. We can go on, this is something also marketers don't want to do, and I'm not excited about it either. If you're in B2B marketing or, or some other complex sale, go on sales calls, go with your sales team, see what our customers talking about. What are yeah. their pain points? Uh, we have some case studies on marketing Sherpa too recently. I'll tell you one, um, it's about this company that started, uh, they wanted to make a Peloton accessory. So if you know, Peloton is that high-end bicycle, right? And uh, it's got like a video screen on it and you get like $2,000 and you can bike with, you know, people around the world. Yes. Well, they wanted to make an accessory on it to swivel the, the screen because the newer Peloton bikes, it comes, you can swivel the screen, but the yeah. older ones didn't. There's a lot of older bikes out there. Yeah. So there, there was uh, already an accessory mark, uh, maker in the marketplace. So they already had competition. And so they had to see how can we better tap into the motivations of potential customers? So one thing they did is they joined Facebook groups. They joined Facebook groups where people were talking about Peloton and they would look and they would see when they talked about the screen or when they would talk about the new bike or when they would talk about the competitors, what did they talk about? And they noticed there were a few things that didn't work too well with that competitor's uh, product, like the way it swiveled and the way it shaked or something like that. And they realized, well, we could fix that, but I think the current competitor's product was $59. They would have to charge $175 to make a better one. But they were confident because they saw that there was a motivation within these customers to, ha to solve these problems. So by tapping into it, they were able to sell a more expensive product and be successful. So really, these are many ways. I mean, another way is through testing, like we talked about. Anything you can do to break down that barrier with the customer to get to know them better, surveys, qualitative research, quantitative research. Uh, another great thing is um, that I like to do when I'm writing copy even, look at review sites. Look at Yelp. Look at, uh, you know, whatever the review sites are for your industry, Google reviews. Because one thing you'll notice in there that's really helpful in motivation is customers will speak in their own language. All right, so here's a quick example of a, a case study we did with IBM. IBM uh, had an HR related product and I'm, I'm gonna mess up the words, but there's a lot of links we can give your audience where I can, you know, find all this and they can look at, at the case studies directly on marketing Sherpa. But they were using like uh, smarter HR, smarter commerce or whatever their individual, you know, internal IBM language is. But then when they started looking at the data and talking to customers, they found out the customers don't call it that. <laughs> they called it something else HR related. By better tapping into the motivation, they increased conversion. We actually worked with a company uh, that had an at-home kidney dialysis machine. And again, I'm going to get these words wrong because I don't remember them exactly, but the, right. the first on the landing page, the words that the company was using were related to like nephrology or whatever, whatever were like very medical terms. Mm -hmm. But customers didn't know those medical terms. They were searching for kidney disease or, or whatever it is. So again, when you get into seeing like talking to customers, that's the qualitative part. Talking to them, surveys, looking at their reviews, how they write, what they post on social media, in forums, Look at what words are they using? How do they differ from yours and speak their language? And that's a great way to tap into their motivation.